My name is Mark Humphreys with Lincoln Electric Cutting Systems and today we want to walk you through the steps of using the scan and trace feature in TorchMate CAD to make metal dog portraits just like this one right here. It's going to be cut out of 8th inch mild steel on our 5x10 TorchMate X table. But before we get to cutting, we're going to walk you through the on-screen steps of how to design this metal art. The scan and trace wizard in TorchMate CAD works best with high contrast, high quality images. The more defined the line is, the better the result. This image has been cropped to create a simple image with no background. We import it into the scan and trace wizard and use the bar on the bottom of the window to adjust the white threshold to a level that you are happy with. We recommend that you maintain the standard trace settings as they are optimal for most images used in the scan and trace wizard. Click apply to accept the changes. Inspect the image and click finish in the top left hand corner of the screen. Select the image and go to arrange and break path. This will allow you to edit the nodes and delete or bridge parts of the image that are not connected. This is a fairly complex image. Higher contrast images such as the actual silhouette of a photo will produce much better results. After reducing the amount of nodes and editing the image for parts that are not connected, you're ready to export. We're going to place a frame on the design so that it can be easily hung on a wall. To do so, use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle around the image that overlaps the perimeter of the file. Match those dimensions in the next rectangle you draw by adding the desired width of your frame to each edge. Shift click each rectangle and go to Arrange, Make Path. After the path has been applied, select both the dogs and the frame, select the weld tools, then apply a basic weld to join both of the images. Now we're going to want to make the tool path. Go to Machine, Create Tool Path, Mail. Click the Basic Cut tab and confirm that plasma is your tool. Program your feed rate to match the thickness of material that you will be cutting on and create an 8 inch lead in at a 45 degree angle. Press OK to create the tool path. Now move the file into the bottom left hand corner of your canvas and you're ready to output the G-code. Go to Machine, Output, and select Cut Now in the top right hand corner of the toolbar. Save your file and load it into the Acumove controller to be cut. The Scan and Trace Wizard and TorchMate CAD makes this design and countless others possible. If you would like any information on getting a TorchMate table of your own, feel free to call us at any time. You can also find this tutorial and countless others on fabricationforum.com.